Let's learn in three minutes one of the most important data science and data processing libraries in Python. That's Pandas. Pandas is a Python library for doing data manipulation and analysis. It's one of the most important tools because it's used by a wide array of individuals to do data processing. And if you're going to work with data in Python, it's going to be expected that you know Pandas. How do you get started with Pandas? Well, all you have to do is use pip to install it. This means that in your terminal, you can run pip install pandas, and it will install it for you. Once you've installed pandas, you can use it by importing pandas as pd. Note the pd here. This is expected and is pythonic, and this is why all individuals who use pandas will be importing it. Next, you're going to create what's called a data frame by creating an object called df. You can read in your data by using pd read. Note the df though. df stands for data frame. The data frame is the building block of all pandas. It's going to be what stores all of your data, and it's going to be what you use to access that data and manipulate it. Pandas is useful because it supports a wide array of data files, things like CSV, JSON, and Feather. And the way in which you read this different data is by just changing the method for accessing that data. Note the change in read here and the change in the file extension. Pandas is useful because you can read in all these different data types and then easily access it. Let's try to print off some data here. But what's more useful is not just printing off data, but manipulating it. Let's say we wanted to not only isolate individuals in this data set, but only return the individuals who maybe were under the age of 25. We can do that by importing special querying or filtering techniques in pandas. So why use pandas? Pandas is the standard library for processing data in Python. It will be expected that you know it. It supports multiple data formats like CSV and JSON, but also binary formats like Feather. It also has a large community for support. This means if you get stuck with Pandas, you can find other individuals who can help you out along the way. And finally, Pandas also has a lot of different utility in other libraries, meaning other libraries are built on top of Pandas. So getting familiar with it will help you out when you start working with other libraries that work with data. But what are the limitations of Pandas? Well, one, Pandas struggles with very large data sets. It's also very memory intensive, which means if you don't have a lot of RAM on your system, it can easily overwhelm it. In addition to these two things, Pandas is also challenging for those new to it, meaning its syntax, or the way in which you do certain tasks in Pandas, can be a little complex for newcomers. Fortunately, the first two on this list can be remedied by using other libraries that use very similar syntax to Pandas or sit on top of it. The first is Polaris. This is useful because it is not only like Pandas and has the same syntax, but performs the same processes much more quickly. If you're working with very large data sets, you might want to consider something like Dask. Dask is useful because it doesn't store an entire Pandas data frame in memory, rather chunkifies it down into smaller subcomponents. If you want to get started with Pandas, I have a free textbook and a whole bunch of videos on this channel that get you up and running with it very quickly, with no expectation that you have any knowledge about data or data frames in the process.